We all have decisions to make. Do you walk on the narrow road where only a few choose to travel? Or do you walk on the road where you will always have your way without limitations? You decide. The pleasures of this world or the discipline of righteousness? The pursuit of money, power, material things, or the pursuit of godliness? You decide. You decide to say, I did that. Or you can say, it was by the grace of God. You see, we can choose to take the credit, or we could choose to thank God. What I'm trying to tell you is that it's not by might, nor by power, but it's through the Spirit of the Lord. It's through the mercy of God. It's through His love and kindness that we're able to see a new day. To wake up with air in our lungs, with the sight to see. It's not through our own power or our own strength. It's all Jesus. So you decide. Who will you thank today? Who will you give praise today? So I encourage you. Let's make the decision. Let's choose to praise God. Let's decide to worship Him to give Him all the glory and honor. And with that understanding, let us pray. Heavenly Father, You are the Creator of the universe, the one who sustains all things. I call upon Your holy name today. I give You all the glory and honor because You are great and mighty. Psalms 145 says, I will praise you, my God, O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and His greatness is unsearchable. Indeed, Lord, you deserve all praise for your tender mercies and kindness. You have been good to me. You are good to me, and so I will bless your name every day. Lord, you are the source of all good things. You are the source of blessings, the source of favor and grace. I acknowledge your greatness, Father, and I ask that your presence may surround me always. I acknowledge that you have been the reason, the cause, the giver of all the blessings that I enjoy in my life right now. I speak hope and health, faith and joy over my life today. I speak it over my family and loved ones. I claim victory over challenges, victory over the mountains before me, breakthroughs in all of my endeavors. I claim renewed strength as I wait on you. You have declared in Jeremiah 29:11, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Through faith, I accept these plans over my life. Mighty God, I stand in full knowledge that greater is He that is within me than he who is in the world. I stand in the full knowledge that I am more than a conqueror. I am forgiven and not condemned. I have been redeemed by Jesus Christ and set free from bondage. I stand in the full knowledge that in this new day, my God shall supply all of my needs. I declare that as a child of the King, I am blessed and highly favored, and I look to you now as you enlarge my territory. And as much as I stand on your promises, I pray that you would give me a humble and forgiving spirit. I no longer want to hold on to the past hurts, past pains or sins. I pray that the Holy Spirit may set me free and clear my conscience. I will not be pulled back or held back by past mistakes, but rather I repent, I seek your forgiveness, and I look to move forward and grow in faith. Today I echo the psalmist who declared that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
And mighty God, I thank you. I am grateful for your blessings in my life, blessings that are too many to count. You have been so faithful to me. And because of your bountiful goodness, I lack nothing. Whatever my heart desires according to your will, you have and you have granted it to me. Abundance without measure. And I am thankful that you are my God. I'd even like to take this moment to thank you for the gift of eternal life that you have afforded me through your son, Jesus Christ. You sent him so that I may have life and have it more abundantly. And I bless your name for this favor. This gift of salvation has given me a new lease on life and gives me access to many other blessings. As your word declares in Psalms 84 verse 11, for the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. You, King Jesus, withhold no good thing from those who walk uprightly. I pray that I may be found in that category. I pray that I may walk in a way that is pleasing to you. Thank you, Lord, for the undeserved grace you have given me and the ultimate sacrifice that you paid so that I can be saved, so that I can walk in your way and benefit from all good things you provide. Please help me not to take this blessing for granted. I praise you for my family and friends. Lord, you have provided a support system for me, one that stands with me through thick and thin, and for this I am eternally grateful. The Bible says two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift his fellow, but woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. I praise you because you have blessed me with a caring family so that I don't have to face life's trials alone. I pray for your continuous blessings and protection on them. Please provide for my family and loved ones all that they need. May I also be a blessing to them as I reflect your character. Be present in my family relationships and heal any feeling of hurt and discord, I pray. Draw us close to each other, even as you draw us closer to you, dear Lord. I praise you in advance for your continuous blessings on my family life and relationships. And by faith, I claim harmony and peace within my home. Lord, I ask that you will continue to bless everything that I seek to do. Bless my hands as I work, Father. Increase my efforts and expand my reach in all that I do. Your word in Galatians 6 verse 9 says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Lord, Sometimes I may feel tired and frustrated, even as I seek to do good. And during these times, I pray that you may reach down and remind me that you will renew my strength if I wait on you. Please remind me of your goodness and your promise never to leave me nor forsake me. As you bless my hands, Father, may you also increase my strength and resilience so that I will be able to push through despite any challenges I am confronted with. Lord, please keep me in your will so that, so that I will continue to be blessed and experience your blessings in all of my pursuits. Please continue to bless me physically, spiritually, emotionally, and in any other way that you see fit because you are the giver of all good gifts. I praise you for you are great and wonderful. May your name be praised and worshiped forever. Amen.